The problem with the ending of My Fair Lady, where there's dangerous screen, at least the ones that I've seen so far, is that they show a particular ending. The point, I think, of Eliza in the stage version of Pygmalion on which My Fair Lady is based, the point of her just walking out, closing the door, and you don't know what life she chooses. You don't know if she comes back in. You don't know if she goes out and never comes back. You don't know if she comes back later after the curtain is closed and, uh, you know, she and and Higgins um, become bachelors together, as he suggests. You don't know if she marries somebody or she stays single somewhere else. You don't know if she um, is a tutor of linguistics or opens a flower shop. You don't know what she does, and that's fine. You don't need to know. In fact, to know is anticlimactic. And that's why I have a problem with My Fair Lady. It's not just that she goes back to Higgins. It's that we're showing a choice at all. The point is that she has a choice. When you start out with Eliza at the beginning, her whole arc is to give herself a greater number of ways to make a living. She wants to get out of where she is and give herself extra choices in life. This is accomplished in a roundabout way, but it is accomplished. And so her triumph is having a choice, not what she chooses, but the fact that she has a choice at all. She could go back to her old life, but that's usually not something that she wants to do because the whole thing, the whole plot is that she wants to get out of her old life. But she has so many choices. It doesn't matter what she chooses, even the most horrific choice, which is to come back to Higgins, who's an abusive person. It's not that they show that she comes back to Higgins. It's that that they show any ending at all. And that is a problem. So her triumph is the fact that she has a choice and we, the audience, don't need to know what it is. Not only do we not need to know, as I say, it's anticlimactic when they show something. Even that latest one, I think, at the Lincoln Center, where she goes out, comes back in, strokes his cheek, and goes back out again. And it's just weird. I don't need that. You, the conclusion is we don't know. And we, as an audience, need to be okay with not knowing her choice. We just need to be happy that she has some. That's it.